Here are three ways to remain inspired while you're studying. One, surround yourself with people that do better than you. When you don't feel like putting in the work, those people are gonna be there and you're gonna be surrounded by them. And so when you're in that mood where you don't feel like putting in effort, when you don't wanna study, they're gonna be the ones that are there to support you, encourage you to keep pushing on forward. And because you wanna be a part of the in-group, you're gonna end up doing the work anyway, so you can be a part of all that. I think it was Will Smith that once said that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. What that means to me is that if you surround yourself with people that are good, that work hard, that get really good grades, then those things will subsequently rub off on you because you're adopting those qualities because you're surrounded by them. That's why you should surround yourself with people that are better than you. Two, make space for the things that you love. This is a time during the day or the week that you make time specifically for you. Now, it doesn't have to be something that's like extremely reflective or anything. It could literally mean you dedicating a bit of time to go out for dinner or lunch with your mates or go out and watch a movie. I found for me, when I was in high school, the things that really motivated me was when I was just spending time hanging out with my friends. And I really think it's mostly because it gave my mind the break away from the stress of studying. And so because I had that break, it meant that I could separate these two things in my life and it would give my mind and my mental state a little bit of time to rejuvenate itself. So that when I did go back into studying a little bit later, I was a lot more fresh and I was a lot more energetic and it could actually mean that I could retain a lot more information. And to some extent, it actually made studying a little bit more enjoyable. One of my best mates in high school, Tyson, he would make sure that he would take a night off in the week where he would do absolutely nothing but pretty much do what he loves, which would either be playing games or watching anime. And like, I had a lot of respect for that guy because no matter how busy the next week would have looked or was going to seem to be, he would never compromise on that. It became a night that he looked forward to throughout the week and it was something that would motivate him. So much so that I started doing that myself and I'm pretty sure I also made mine a Friday night. I truly believe having that downtime for yourself for the things that you love allows you to be way more productive. So make sure that you make the space for it. Three, consistently remind yourself why you study, why you do the work. And the key part here is consistently. When we're studying all these different subjects, doing all this different type of work, we've got family life, we've got our sport, we've got our drama, we've got our music and all these different things. What happens is that we can get caught up in the rush of everything. And that's where we can get lost. And so our inspiration gets lost and we can get burnt out. However, if we consistently remind ourselves why we study, why we do the work, then we can remain motivated. Maybe it's because of our parents that we wanna work hard. Maybe it's because we have a particular lifestyle that we're striving for. Or maybe it's simply just because we want it to be over and done with. When we consistently remind ourselves of those things, we can use that as our fuel to keep going. Great, so those are three things that you can use to remain inspired while you're studying. Good luck. Give the video a like. And if you want more inspiring content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.